Welcome everybody. We are back in this legacy call, which has a lot of hard dependencies, which we are going to break to make it testable again. In the last episode, we already broke the time dependency by introducing the clock, which we are now passing as a parameter. But there are still more hard dependencies. For example, there is a dependency on a remote JSON API which we are fetching data from. Then there is also a dependency on a third party util, on a static method of this third party util. And because it is static, we have no means to verify if it was invoked and what arguments have been passed to the third party method. So let's start with this third party util and break the dependency by moving it to its own delegate class, something like a humble object. The humble object pattern is used to separate code that is hard to test from code that is easy to test. We move the hard to test code to a humble object that does so little that we don't have to test it. We usually do this at the boundary where we are interacting with code we don't own. For example, a framework. For that, I will first extract the method. And I don't even have to know what it is doing. I will just repeat the name and extract the delegate class. Outliner. As a result, the outline method is unused, so I can delete it. And you can see it is now using the outliner instead, instead of the third party lib. The third party lib is now contained in this class in the outline method. But this is still a hard dependency as it is created in the field. I don't have any way to replace it as this is private final. I cannot replace this field in my test with a test tuple, which I would like to do verifications on the invocations. So I have to move this initialization to the constructor and extract the parameter so I can inject whatever outliner I would like. And now when I go to my test, you see that it is injected in the constructor and I can now replace it with a test tuple. I'm choosing Mokito here. And I can now, after invoking the application, make certain verifications on this outliner, if this outline method has been invoked accordingly and so on. So we have effectively broken this dependency and gotten one step closer to making this whole thing testable. In the next video, we will take a closer look at this remote API call. And this will be tricky. I'm Gregor, see you next time.